Udo Island. While it might not be as well known as its bigger sibling of Jeju Island, Udo is full of hidden gems that you will not want to miss on your Korea trip. A fun fact is that you can actually traverse the perimeter of Udo in just one day. So from white stone beaches, to rainbow burgers, and soul healing sunsets, we will go and see everything we can on a one day trip. So come along with me and let's go out and explore Udo Island together. First, let's start our journey from the port of Songsanri back in Jeju Island. After purchasing our tickets, it was time to wait in line for our ferry which would take us over to Udo Island in just 15 minutes. The sight of the sprawling sea and the sun beaming down on us was a combination that put everyone in high spirits. It seemed that we were all eager to start exploring. Once you see this red lighthouse, you've reached your destination. Welcome to beautiful Udo. The U in Udo actually stands for cow, while the Do stands for island. Udo is said to resemble a cow lying on its stomach, so to get around this cow resembling island, you can either rent a car, ride a tour bus, rent a bike, or rent a scooter car. Luckily, transportation rental shops will greet you as soon as you enter the island. We decided to rent an electric bicycle and a scooter for the day. But beware that you cannot rent cars or scooters without either a Korean or international license. After paying, we were directed over to a crate full of helmets, safety first. The workers then explained how to use each of the machines we were renting, albeit quite quickly and in Korean. So pro tip, if you're not fluent in Korean, ask first if they have anyone who knows English and can teach you the proper usage. I wouldn't want any of you to get into an accident, especially if you've never driven these before and have no idea on how to use them properly. Okay, now enough of the boring stuff, off we go to explore! We essentially toured the perimeter of the island in a clockwise direction. In a few minutes past, the transportation hub is already our first spot of the day. This is Sobin Beksa, also known as Tanho Beach. And can you imagine an even prettier pit stop? This beach is just a few steps away from the main road and is perfect to listen to the waves, admire the scenery, and take lots of photos. We just made our first stop in Udo Island. They have, it's not white sand, it's white rock. So a lot of people are taking photos over here. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, the weather's perfect. So I highly recommend you take a stop over here. Whoa, look at this. There are so many things you can see along the way without even leaving the comfort of your scooter. There are lots of scenic places that you will pass by, including some spots for Dol Harubang statues, which are gods said to offer protection and fertility to the inhabitants of the island. Now our second attraction is the Bongsude Beacon Tower. This seems to be quite the popular location, as evidenced by the amount of scooters and bikes that were all waiting for their turn to park. But you know what, I wouldn't blame them for a second. It is especially pretty when you climb up the overlook and get to have a 360 view, complete with a heart-shaped rock formation at the bottom because why not? And, as Udo is an island after all, you're spoiled for choice when it comes to the different beaches you can go to. Hago Sudong Hebyeon or Hago Sudong Beach is also one that you will not want to miss. It's got white sand this time instead of white rocks, and there are restaurants and cafes along the strip so you can cool down and relax for as long as you need to. Our treat of choice was peanut ice cream, which is actually a specialty food here in Udo. I highly recommend trying this ice cream, it has a light taste of peanut with just enough sweetness. Perfect to snack on while gazing at the ocean. We were back to revving up our motors for some lunch. 
And on the way to our chosen restaurant, we pass by an endless stream of beautiful island scenery. This included Hue Sokbyo, which is essentially a lookout point for the ocean and offers a grand view of another lighthouse standing proudly on top of the cliff as if touching the sky. Now time for some grub. Bongkurang is well known on the island for offering these rainbow burgers which are handmade every day. They also have a black burger and a peanut burger, but I couldn't resist the look of that multicolored dough. I mean, just look at that. The patties they use are made of Jeju black pork, which I talked more about in my Jeju Island travel guide. This is a shameless plug for you to go and check it out if you haven't. I will leave the link in the description and in the cards. Now the taste of the burger is more on the sweet side, not to scare you off, not like in a dessert kind of way. But I think it was quite fitting for its rainbow theme. Of course, we couldn't forget dessert. This time we made a beeline to a nearby cafe where I got their peach iced tea to end the meal on a refreshing note while overlooking Udo's ocean. We've just finished eating the rainbow burger and we don't want to go home yet. The ferry stops at 6 p.m. I believe or 5 somewhere there. So we want to just chill here, relax before we're heading home again. And it's a very nice view. It reminds me of the Philippines. You see my face right now is just full of sunlight. I love it. If it feels like the sun is setting too quickly, I felt the exact same way in real time. Udo Island makes it really easy to get carried away, so if you can stay for more than one day, I highly recommend it. If you're leaving for a day trip like us, please remember that the last ferry of the day that will take you back to mainland Jeju will stop at around 6pm. So make an alarm on your phone and start heading back to the port before that time so you don't miss it. And I have no words to describe the beauty of our ferry ride back. Everything about the golden hour, the birds, the ocean, the amazement of everybody else on the boat, it was just perfect. And now we're back on mainland Jeju soil in Songsanri where we first started. Our pension is actually located here. So for the night, we decided to order some Korean fried chicken. And this time, instead of having it delivered to us, we walked to the restaurant ourselves to pick it up. And walking was a great choice because Jeju's fresh night air and stillness is just such a great comparison to Seoul's bustling city. Bone? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So, can you use like chong manu in this sense? Ah. Super manu? <laughs> no, 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 okay. No. <laughs> Once inside our pension, my friend also taught me, or attempted to teach me, some ghost stuff. This is a very fun Korean card game that I could see being a great hit in parties and sleepovers, especially for card game lovers like me. I hope to get a chance to play it again and actually memorize the rules successfully this time. And that wraps up our short but very sweet trip to Udo Island. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.